Now, government would be forgiven for all its mistakes since 1994 if it implements the basic income grant. That's the word from economist Duma Kubule. This comes amidst mounting calls for human, from human rights organizations for government to do more than just the reinstatement of the social relief of distress grant. Kubule believes that the state can afford a basic income grant. It is a small price to pay for something that could make so much difference to millions of South Africans. And it, I believe it could be the most progressive policy ever implemented by the government since 1994. I think the government would be forgiven for all their mistakes by many South Africans over the past 27 years of mismanaging the economy. I think, I think I'm actually quite certain that the government will introduce a basic income grant at the next budget, but it will probably be something smaller than what we are asking for. But I think the government needs to understand that um, the whole point of a fiscal stimulus is that it must be big. And what we saw in Brazil, where they implemented a huge corona voucher um, stimulus to the economy, where they gave cash payouts to millions of Brazilians, yeah. it has resulted in a recovery of the Brazilian economy. The Brazilian economy started implementing this grant when they had a higher tax ratio and debt ratio than ours, which is in the 90%. But now what we've seen is that the economy has recovered to pre-COVID levels. And then the debt ratio has started coming down to about 85%. Right. So for me, this was a highly successful case study that illustrates what a grant can do. Kobule says that the implementation of a basic income grant would reduce the rate of poverty in the country by over 60%. But the question is, where would this money come from? Kobule explains. What I believe is that a stimulus means the injection of new money to the economy. So by definition, in a stimulus, you don't tax the money away from the economy because taxes withdraw money from the economy. And at the same time, you don't reprioritize existing spending. So I'm saying, just to make it easy for South Africans, we must allow the debt ratio to go up. And at the first level, at the food poverty line, it goes up by 1%. Now, when you go, so the first one was, and thanks for reminding me about the numbers. I'd forgotten about them. From 72, then we go up to 100 the next year. And then I think it's 200 the final year. So, um, so that is what I'm saying. If we implement it over three years, it can make a big difference. Um, the studies that I saw from an uh, organization called ADRS says once you implement it at the, ADR, um, at the upper poverty line, you'd reduce poverty by the poverty rate by 66% and inequality by 14%. So for me, the beauty about this is that it addresses the issue of poverty directly 